Hey everyone and welcome. And today I'll be doing a quick tutorial on fishing in Tinkertown. Fishing was added in the Back to Nature update and allows players to go into the world to catch fish and use towards cooking recipes, which offers some of the best temporary stat buffs for your character in the game. So without further ado, let's head on out and see what we need in order to do fishing. All right, so in order to fish within Tinkertown, you're gonna need a couple of items to get started. Uh, first of all is your bait. So your bait within Tinkertown comes in the form of these mighty worms. And you're going to actually have to have a shovel and go out and dig these bad boys up from different patches of grass in the grasslands. In order to craft a shovel, you're going to have to have an anvil within your base. And you're gonna, it's going to require you five wood and five copper bars, uh, which are fairly easy to get and you can get fairly early on in the game. Now once you have all that, you've crafted your shovel, you come out to the grasslands and you just start digging up patches of grass. So just like this, we've already caught ourselves a couple of worms here. And if you're concerned about leaving big patches of grass out uh, empty, you can always take the grass seed that you pull up and plant yourself some more grass there. Also, another thing with the shovel is while you have it, you can also dig up flowers. And with the flowers, you can take the flower seeds and use in order to put up some items within your base. If you want to plant flowers or flower beds, just another little thing for decoration. All right, and now that you've got your fishing bait, you're going to need one of these bad boys right here, your fishing rod. So in order to make your fishing rod, you are going to need uh, a workbench along with five wood, three string, and one iron bar. So... The iron bar is a little bit trickier to get because you won't be able to get one unless you're heading out into the grasslands and finding a little bit of the rare iron there or heading into the snow or desert biome by that point. So once you've got all your ingredients, you just bring them to the workbench, craft them up, and you get yourself a fishing rod. So now we're going to head out. We're going to actually take a look at what you can do when you have all this stuff. All right, and so once you've got your fishing rod and your fishing bait, you are free to head out and go look for some fish. So one of the things that you got to do is you got to look around at bodies of water and you got to find these little shadows right here of the fish. And that's where you know that you can catch one. Once you have that, you don't have to have your bait equipped. It just has to be in your inventory. You left click your mouse and you get this bar right here. Now the cool thing about this bar is that the lower down it is, the closer the throw or cast is. And the higher up it is towards the red, the longer the cast is. So you don't have to be in a rush to do this. You can take all the time that you need to see about catching how far out you want to go. So if you want to just go a little distance, you might hit for the blue. Like that. Now obviously that's not going to catch our fish. So we're going to come down more towards here. Aim my mouse. Oh, too far. And there we go. So once you catch your fish in here, all you gotta do is just wait for the fish to come to the ring. And boom, caught a barbell. And I'll take you guys and show you one more here just to give you a bit of a better idea. All right, so here we are in the desert biome. So I wanted to show you guys uh, a different area where you can catch fish. So currently you can catch fish in the grasslands, in the tundra and the desert, and there's even a rare fish that you can catch from the dungeons. Um, we scored big here as we got ourselves a nice pool with a bunch of fish in it. Now keep it in mind, as I said before, when you cast out and you attract a fish to the end of your hook, it begins a mini game. That mini game pops up a separate window with a fish inside a ring. Now, as that fish begins to swim to get outside of the ring, you got to time it right to click the left mouse button as that fish touches the ring. If you do so successfully, it'll trigger uh, one successful time. And you have to do this several times depending on the fish. Once you do complete it, then you catch your fish. Now, the different fish based upon rarity determines how many times you've got to play this mini game and successfully click the mouse button on the ring. So I'll give you guys another show here and we will get ourselves casted. See if we can track the fish. All right, here we go. So as the fish swims towards the ring, it'll say reel and in. 
And you gotta time it right. Well, this guy's getting faster. Oh, this guy's getting really fast. Ooh, just barely got that one. Nice, there we go. Goliath Perch. So that is one of the more rare fish within this game that you can catch. And just like that, we've caught ourselves another one. So, well, once you're done with these, then you can bring them back to wherever you have your base set up and you can use these for cooking. And I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you that in a second here. All right, so here we are back at base. Now it kind of goes without saying, obviously I had to stay and uh, do the rest of the fishing down there and catch some more fish. But now you got your fish, what do you do with them? So you come back and you got your stove here with all your different cooking recipes. So in the case of these guys here, these Goliaths that I caught down in the desert, I got three of them and I can combine them with some brown mushrooms and some wood to make these kebabs, which gives uh, great HP regeneration, great strength, and decent speed. So these are probably going to be some of your best, I guess, food buffs that you can get uh, really for going into the into the dungeon. So yeah, I want to create a few of these. And so now I've got, uh, I've got these guys here, which I can bring with me. And they last about 60 seconds every time you use them. So you do got to kind of time it uh, fairly well. Uh, when you go in and sort of know when you're going to use them uh, for which fights, I mean particularly boss fights for sure, and some of the tougher enemies. So uh, with that guys, that's going to do it for today's video and a bit of a quick fishing guide for you. So hope you guys enjoyed and found this useful. Uh, if you did, please remember to drop a like for me. It greatly helps me out and I, uh, I greatly appreciate all the, all the support. Uh, with that, hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll catch you guys in the next video.